is up everyone? Welcome back to The Good Bite. I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope it's been filled with good food and of course, some good feels. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit ropey this morning. I do apologize if I look and I sound a little bit tired. I was filming a YouTube video with someone last night called Megan Grubb and it was a say it or shot it and she got me drunk. I think she's trying to sabotage this YouTube channel or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll pull through. So today we have an awesome video lined up for you today and we're actually gonna be doing part two of a video that we did a few weeks back called High Protein Pack Lunches to Eat Cold. Uh, you guys seem to really like the video, it performed well on our channel. So I thought, let's revisit that theme and we'll give you three more awesome ideas, pack lunches to eat cold. And they're all super healthy, super easy, and of course, super delicious. So I'm excited. Let's do it. So first up, we've got a delicious vegetable stir fry on the menu. Um, so I've basically just raided my fridge for all the vegetable I can find. So if you've got other veg that you want to use, feel free to just chop that up and chuck it in. You can literally use any type of vegetables you want. Um, the idea with a stir fry is that it's cooked very quickly and at a very high heat. So I have chopped things very finely, otherwise they're not going to really cook in time. And the way that we cook is we're going to start with the harder vegetables, so like the carrots and the broccoli, and then we'll go round to the softer vegetables and we're going to be left with a beautiful delicious vegetable stir fry and we're going to start cooking over there. Okay so you want to bring a large saucepan of water to the boil that's going to be for our noodles and then over here we've got our frying pan you could use a wok to be honest my wok's so battered I don't really want to use it um, but feel free to use whatever kind of pan you want and then a tablespoon of coconut oil is going into that pan. So make sure it's on a really nice high heat I'm going to go in with the carrots first You want to constantly be moving everything in the pan really, otherwise it might burn. So that's been frying for a couple of minutes now. I'm going to go in with the broccoli and the green beans. Oh, chilies. Chilies want to get in there. Wait your turn. <laughs> and also what I'm going to add is a little bit of salt and pepper seasoning. And as I said, just keep everything moving constantly. Right, they're good. Uh, this is boiling now, and so these will take four minutes, so you just basically sit them in boiling water, and they'll do, they'll do their thing. Meanwhile, a bit of red onion, a bit of red pepper. Have a look at all that veg. Pure health. A good variety of colours, that's what all the health experts say, isn't it? So now, we're gonna add a bit of flavor, so some garlic and some ginger. And I've also chopped up a green chili as well. Just put it in like that. Right, these look ready. They've been simmering for four minutes, so I'm gonna drain these very quickly. So, that goes straight in there. Right, so obviously there's one thing left to do with this and that is to take it to Flavor Town, okay? It's like, it's our favorite place. So we're gonna add some more seasoning. That's just the salt and pepper seasoning. And then we're gonna add about one or two tablespoons of soy sauce. I've got some sriracha, which is basically an Asian kind of hot sauce, quite sweet, quite spicy as well. And then give it all a really good mix up. You can turn the heat down now because everything's pretty much cooked. We don't want things to burn or overcook. Just want to get it all combined really. Okay, and it's really as simple as that guys. We're ready to put these in our meal prep boxes. Ready for pack lunch. And then finally, this is optional because I know coriander is a little bit polarizing, <laughs> but I'm just gonna add some coriander to that as well. Right, so second up, we're gonna be making a delicious chicken pesto sandwich. Super easy to make, super quick to make. Does that sound good, Buzz? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so first up, we're just gonna butterfly two chicken breasts. So you place it on the board, you put your palm over the top of the chicken breast, and then carefully, slice down the middle of the chicken breast like so 
and you open it up and you've got two separate thinner bits of chicken breast which makes it easier to cook, nicer to bite into. And then over to the hoberino. Extra virgin olive oil going into the pan. Chicken breast in. Gonna try fit them all in. Right, so I flip them. I'm gonna add a load of seasoning. And then a bit of oregano as well. Could be any mixed herbs really. And then we're gonna go in with our pesto, so a few teaspoons of this. And we're just gonna leave that to cook for about two, three, maybe four minutes, just to allow that pesto to really coat the chicken. And then we're gonna take it off the heat and build our sandwiches. So I'm keeping the sandwiches super simple. I've got some lovely sourdough bread. You can use any bread you want really. Uh, some cheddar, which I'm gonna grate, tomato slices and salad. So let's build these pesto chicken sandwiches. So for the third and final recipe of today, we're gonna to be cooking a beautiful chicken biryani. I'm, it's not really a chicken biryani, it's kind of like a cheats biryani because I'm not cooking it in like an authentic way like they would do in an Indian restaurant, but it is an Indian inspired chicken and rice dish and I'm just calling it a biryani for today's video. So extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon in there, heat that. And then we're gonna go in with about two chicken breasts chopped. Okay, once the chicken is cooked, we're gonna add an onion. I've just chopped it quite roughly. Little stories, eh? If you're not following the good bite on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Go give it a follow. So now we're going in with three cloves of garlic, which I've just grated. You should grate ginger and garlic if you don't like chopping it. It's very easy and handy just gonna fry that for about one minute. You don't need a long time at all to fry that ginger and garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit now. I'm using a pre-made paste patak. So it's good, it's good stuff. You could use individual spices, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna use this ready-made paste. So two or three teaspoons in there. And this is a madras paste. You could use a tikka masala, basically whatever kind of paste you want really. Let me give that a good mix up. Just gonna add a little splash of water to that. Just gonna create a little bit of a sauce before we add our rice. Okay, and so I'm cheating once again. I'm using microwavable packet rice. We're not gonna microwave it though. It's gonna get heated and kind of cooked in that pan. Three packs, can we get three packs in there? Okay, I'll, I'll use two and a half packs. So I'm gonna add a load of coriander. Sorry, coriander haters. And then some frozen peas. Give that a good mix up. Have a look at that, that's looking gorgeous, I think. Um, so now one little extra touch I'm gonna add is some raisins, actually. Dried fruits is a biryani thing. And it might not be a typical authentic biryani, but we can at least try. There you go, have a look at that. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for today. So we've got three amazing pack lunch ideas here which are gonna work really well cold. So a brief little run through. We've got the veggie stir fry. We've got the chicken biryani or cheats biryani, whatever you wanna call it. And then we've got these gorgeous 
chicken pesto sandwiches. So if you do try these at home, please do send pictures into us at The Good Bite because we always like to repost your pictures that you send to us. Please do give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm really happy with the amount of views and how you guys are receiving the videos that we put out. So thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and yeah, that's me done for today, guys. So have a good week and I'll see you in the next video.